busy then, yeah? Yes. We've, yeah, we've been busy hauling this out uh, for a couple of days, sir, and getting it ready for the visit. Um, this is the type of currency that we have with uh, the students when they when they come out on course. So we build these with them. Yeah. Um, basically, what we do is we get it into uh, we get them to design the outside, uh, exterior. And then on the interior, we have them tunnel through. Um, we do this dome shape so that the water will drip off the, the sides and not onto the students. We, we tend not to have it quite this shape inside. Yeah. Um, we tend to have the bedding going all the way around without the, uh, the tunnel at the back here. Yeah. Um, and we dig it through so that we got uh, the little sticks so we, we check there uh, that we're not going too far when we dig so it's structurally sound for the students. Um, give them a good uh, introduction into the survival night. It's quite, it's quite an accomplishment, like once you finish this, to actually to be, to be spending some time in it. I mean, very yeah. kind of you to invite us all into your, into your private uh, shrine, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but how, much, how many people do you normally have, if you have up to... S we, we, we've had eight in them before with the students, we've had up to eight people in them. Um, okay. most, most commonly about six. Yeah, six to eight. And the music, is that part of it? Well? It's not always necessary. <laughs> it's Valentine's Day, isn't it? <laughs> yes. oh, well, yeah. It's great. Should we all hold hands? <laughs> So we've been uh, showing him around uh, some of the things that we teach on the co-op survival course, uh, tent is that we use, uh, different equipment, uh, survival shelters, uh, and I've been showing him sort of the sort of type of individuals that will be working out here. So uh, Royal Marine uh, Rifle Company soldiers, uh, Royal Marines Mountain Leaders and the jobs that they do. Um, so when he was uh, coming around with us, he was, he was talking about how it, everything is designed, how we use it, uh, some key, key uh, features. Uh, and then he was just asking loads of quest uh, questions to the guys, uh, per lots of personal questions, lots of stuff if they've got their wife anything or girlfriend anything for Valentine's Day. So interacting really nicely, which was, which was really good to see. So it just made the whole sort of experience quite relaxing. So yeah, the design of the Quincy, we didn't go for your traditional uh, design um, where we'd normally hollow in and have sleeping bays either side. Uh, we made it more of a, um, of a, of a bedroom, um, a stroke sort of office sort of space. So we hollowed out um, one sort of sleeping bay. We had someone sort of uh, in their sleeping bag in there and inside the rest of it, we hollowed it out really big. Uh, so we had tables, chairs, we had some music playing, some, pic some nice pictures up on the wall uh, from his wedding to try and make him uh, feel a little bit more at home as he's away for Valentine's Day. Some nice uh, soft music. Um, he come in, uh, had some, uh, some wets on the table and sort of made it feel re really homely. So not, not your traditional type shelter, but he, uh, he, he really enjoyed himself in there. So the visit today was great. We had Prince Harry um, come visit. Obviously, he's flown the aircraft before. Uh, he was very interested in, in how, the, how the aircraft is operated out here. Uh, reminiscing about old stories, he's obviously operated the aircraft in, uh, in Afghanistan, um, but he has never flown out in the Arctic. So uh, asking about old people who he knew and, and what it was like to fly out here.